how we can recognize cost and revenues using result analysis for, for uh, a process that starts in the sales order, and also how we can recognize cost, partial cost, partial sales, when you don't want to use result analysis, that you don't want to use the SAP process to do this. Some parts of the presentation, it's very technical, so like steps, things like this, but it's really, I wanted to show how we can achieve this, that you take this, you, oh, this is one idea that I can use to, 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 to get the, let's say, the revenue in the correct place. So I will talk about how, uh, let's say, a flow, the process overview, how we have from this customer, how we set up, but and then you can put this in our own company and, and, and think how it should work. The integration, the understand the basic customize of result analysis. I'm saying here basic because this morning we have also the session uh, related to result analysis, and he showed the basic. Actually, I will show the expert mode, that it's uh, uh, the other deep area for, for, for result analysis. It's where I like more, you know, because you're free to do whatever you want. And to talk about the user exits, the integration of the models, FI, CO, SD, and the basic understanding of requirement class and requirement types that the result analysis comes automatically to the line item. So let's talk about this customer. What they do, they produce, uh, uh, it can be for anything. So the first thing they have is sales order and they have a configurable material here. So that means that you choose options to get the, the finished good that is going to be produced, okay? This finished good here, and one of the options, let's say, you can choose if this product that you're selling, you have warranty, if you have installation cost, and you have maintenance contract. 